Unbelievable Bacteria, Evil, Alien, or Smart, Part 2. Why do open fractures have increased risk for infection? The presence of bacteria within an open wound increases the risk of bacterial colonization when hardware is used. Once the hardware is colonized, the bacteria grows rapidly. During the rapid growth phase, the bacteria secretes a polysaccharide sugar layer called a biofilm or slime layer that encases the bacteria. This biofilm provides protection to the bacteria against the body's defenses and antibiotics. Within the biofilm, there are channels that allow the bacteria to pass nutrients, messaging signals, and even pass DNA to each other. Three different ways the DNA can be passed are transformation, transduction, and conjugation. Transformation is when a bacteria cell ruptures, releasing its DNA, which is then taken in by another bacteria. Transduction occurs when DNA is transferred from one bacterium to another by a virus. And finally, conjugation occurs when two bacteria attach themselves together with a sex pili and they exchange their DNA. So how does the bacteria become resistant to antibiotics? The bacteria can alter the genes they express by as much as 50 to 60 percent. By doing this, the bacteria can produce enzymes such as beta-lactamases, which destroy certain antibiotics before they can reach their target site. They can also make efflux pumps that expel the antibacterial agent from the cell before it can reach its target site. And finally, by expressing different genes, the bacterial cell wall can be altered to no longer contain the binding site of the antibiotic agent. Because the antibiotics cannot break through the biofilm and access the bacteria, the bacterium in the biofilm can become up to a thousand times more resistant to the antibiotics by the different mechanisms previously discussed. So if there is biofilm on the hardware, what can the physician do? The only proven treatment is to completely remove the hardware and thoroughly wash the wound. However, Removal of the hardware is a problem if the fracture is not healed and the fixation is needed. So in that case, the physician may decide to leave the hardware and suppress the infection until the fracture is adequately healed, then remove the hardware and debride the wound. Or, the physician may choose to remove the hardware and seek an alternative method to stabilize the fracture, and then a biological material is added to help heal the fracture. These are the issues that make an infection with hardware so complex. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.